What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of The Grind Outdoors. And today, I'm going to show you how to do something that's going to save you some money, looks really cool. You've probably saw it done before, but if not, this is a video for you to learn how to dye, tie-dye, your deer schools. Step number one, you're going to want to take painter's tape and tape around the burrs. Be very careful here because anything that isn't covered with tape is going to get covered with black spray paint or the paint of your choice. So something I did to this deer that is uh, kind of unique is I polyurethane the antlers to help them keep their color a little longer and makes them have a glossy look to them. I'm not a professional taxidermist yet, but I'm in the process of it. Um, so I'm just going to keep on taping these up. Now that I've got the burrs completely covered in painter's tape, I'm just going to go straight up the antler. I'm going to cover this whole antler because it has a chance of all of the whole thing going underwater. And if it goes under, goes under the spray paint water, it's going to get dyed. So uh, I shot this deer in 2007, I do believe. Uh, I shot it with a bow at my grandpa's farm. Uh, it was one of my very first bucks I shot with a bow. Alright, at this point in time, we have it all, all the antlers taped up with blue painter's tape. Now we're going to spray paint the school. Alright, I don't know what step this is, I forgot, but this is the spray painting the school part. So, everything that's not white, I'm going to be spraying it with black spray paint. I'm being very careful here not to get any runs in the paint. Alright, that looks good to me. Now we're just going to let this dry. It's going to take probably about 10-15 minutes and then we're going to jump back in here and show you the rest of the process to tie dye this school and make it look sick. Alright guys, so it's been 15 minutes. We uh, have our deer school in here. Come in here. Let's look at it. So, this is what our deer school is looking like right now. It is completely black. It looks great. Um, we're in my cellar and we got a fan right here taking out all the air. So it's a good spot to uh, use our spray paint. Um, this spray paint costs like six bucks at Hobby Lobby for both of them. So I think I got about $15 invested into doing this school, which is pretty inexpensive and it's gonna look good. So make sure your paint shook up really good. All right. Paint shook up good, so now I'm going to take the red and I'm going to spray a ton of red in here. Red. Here goes black. Red. Come back together for a second. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. So now, super slowly, I'm gonna take and dip the school in. Yeah, it's completely underwater. Now what I'm going to do is take this piece of cardboard and remove all of this excess spray paint. we got gloves on so I'm just going to use my hand to move away all this excess spray paint. 
And right there is a dip dried deer school. I think this is my first one I've ever did. I think it turned out really good. I'm gonna take and uh, let this dry and then I'm gonna peel off the paint and give you a final look at it after it's completely done. Okay guys, here's the final product. I think it turned out so sick. It's very unique. I don't think any single one would be the exact same. Um, but yeah, I want to put it on a plaque eventually, so please leave a comment in the comment section below whether I should use like a wood plaque or a metal plaque or what what be it. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're growing like crazy. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will catch you on the next one.